Welcome back. Then, as we speak, the Nifty has pulled back a tad bit from the low point uh, of the day. So we're sitting, still sitting with a cut of around 70 points. We're at one point of time. We were down closer around uh, 95 points. If we take a look at it in the last few minutes, we're seeing some kind of a pullback coming in uh, from stocks like uh, like PNB. That stock, in fact, has cut its losses. Bajaj Auto as well has done fairly well. But the real action is in the mid-cap space because a few stocks are moving very, very well. Pull up Hexa where you'll see that that stock's doing quite well. Kaveri Seeds as well should uh, come up for you. So that stock as well has suddenly spiked up. And TVS Motors as well, suddenly it's moved up ahead of the Wali days. So just pull up all those stocks doing quite well in the last few minutes. But uh, let's uh, kickstart our show then. We are still starting late. Uh, your stocks is the show we're talking about and we have with us our two experts, Nuresh Mirani joins us as well as uh, Mayuresh Joshi, both of them. Thanks so much gentlemen for joining in this afternoon and firstly, a very very happy Dubavli uh, to both of you. Made the second half of the year be absolutely fantastic for you all and let's hope for the markets as well. But uh, let's get in our first callers then. We have uh, Sanjeev Kumar who calls us from New Delhi. He has investments in L&T. Hi Sanjeev, good afternoon, a very happy Diwali to you. How can we help you? Good afternoon, sir. Same to you, sir. Uh, sir, I have L&T to buy the L&T for 50 shares, sir, 1550 shares. Okay. So, I have to buy the L&T for 3-4 months, so what should I do? Should I hold it or should I go out of the L&T? Alright, uh, Sanjeev ji, but uh, 3 to 4 months is a lot of work. Can you stop for 2 years? Yes, I mean, sir, I can stop for maximum 6 months, sir. 6 months, alright. Um, Mayuresh, let me come across uh, to you. Uh, I've tried to coax him to extend his time horizon, but no one wants to wait nowadays. Everyone wants fast money. He's making a bit of a loss as well. Six months, should he hang on, cut his losses? What do you think? Afternoon, Nigel. First of all, uh, Nigel, uh, very happy Diwali to you, Sumaira, the entire team at CNBC, all the investors, and a very healthy, uh, wealthy, and prosperous, prosperous one, that too. So clearly, I think the time horizon for L&D specifically is, uh, in my opinion, a little bit short, because if you look at the numbers coming through, I think it's going to take at least three to four quarters for the CAPEX cycle to revive, and within that itself, I think L&D is a direct play. Again, I think on the non-core side, with management is very, very clear uh, on the infotech business, even if you look at the reality business, I think it will take time for these aspects is to start getting divested and probably cash flows coming in. So at a three to four month horizon or maximum six month horizon, I think the underperformance for LNT might still continue as the guidance that they've given for a five to seven percent order growth, the revenue guidance cut through hydrocarbon still seeing some amount of pain in terms of the legacy uh, orders that, that might have impairment losses come through. And even on the infrastructure side, I think which contributes uh, 40 percent of their business, their bit margins have been much lower, will take time to revive. So clearly I think uh, hold on for six months. Uh, hoping that the stock might uh, rally from the current levels. But with the year's perspective, our target on LNT still holds at 1650. All right, so that's the advice uh, for our caller. Hold with a target of 1650. And uh, I hope, uh, Sanjeev, that that advice works for you. All right, up next we have uh, Dilip Kumar Das, who calls in from Pune with a query on <coughs> Sun Pharma. Hi, sir. How can we help you? Hi. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. I'm very happy to be to all of you are there in the studio. To you um, as well. Uh, my question is, uh, some two months back I had bought uh, Sun Pharma at uh, 900 rupees, mm. some 100 uh, shares I had bought. And uh, the recent price, even today I saw it, it has gone down to some 734 or 35 rupees. Yeah. So uh, I just want to know uh, I mean, whether I should keep it uh, or buy some more to you know, average it out. Mm. Or uh, should I hold it for one more year to see if it can go to some 1200 rupees? Okay, and I gather that uh, you're an investor, right? You yes, have I'm other right. stocks as well that you own. Yes, 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 that's right. Okay, Nuresh, let me come to you on this. Uh, uh, you know, actually, Nigel has prepared some data from last Diwali to this Diwali, which shows that pharma has been one of the best performing uh, sectors, actually, uh, you know, from last Diwali to this one. But within that, it's stocks like Lupin, Dr. Reddy's, which have actually stolen the show. I mean, Sun Pharma is hardly there. There's been a spot of bother as well recently. Uh, I mean, that's all fundamental news, of course. But technically, what are the levels that you see in Sun Pharma? For someone who's making a loss, uh, what's the advice? for him? Should he remain invested with the, the hope that in the next one year things could get better? So if we look at Sun Pharma technically, there was a lot of support around 820 to 850 mark which has been broken with a good volume base in the last few days. So in the near term or as well as in the medium term, we expect that to be a stiff resistance. So any rise to 820 to 850 would be a zone to exit the stock. So I would suggest hold on for now but review the stock at 820 to 850 to exit out of the stock. 
All right, then, so that's a call coming in on Sun Pharma. In fact, it's c corrected all the way from around the 1200 mark, all the way closer towards 700 dollars. Let's slip into a short break, continue focusing on the markets and answer a lot of your queries. Stay tuned. Welcome back, you're with your stocks and let's get to answering some of the queries. Jayan Ja is called in from Pune with a query on Yuko Bank. Hi sir, how can we help you? Madam, I actually have a 980 share on Yuko Bank and 375 share on Estate Bank. Okay. At the rate of 70 of Yuko Bank and 300 of SBI. Okay. And this time I am in loss. Okay. So I want to know what I do. Okay, and you are normally an investor? Or you are trading? Yeah, norm, norm, normally, I am actually last one year to hold it. And whatever I buy, I am only for investment purpose, not for trading purpose. 2-3 years, 4 years, no problem. Okay, okay. Okay. I am long time to invest. Okay, and what about banks? You are also stocks of banks? Yes, I am also stocks of stocks of banks. I have a lot of Vedanta and Sel. Okay, so first of all, we answer your banking query. Mayuresh, Yuko Bank and SBI Bank, what's your take? He doesn't mind extending his time horizon as advised. So clearly, Sumer, I think, and on SBI, I think it's a clear hold. The number is a little bit softer when it came to asset quality, but again, on a quarter-on-quarter basis, if you look at the gross NPA plus the restructured assets, it actually came out around 8.01% compared to 8.55%. Again, I think the management has indicated specifically in terms of a couple of assets probably being a little bit soft in the quarter to come. So I think the restructured asset book probably looks a little bit softer for SBI, but clearly, I think with capital advocacy remaining strong, with the branch network operating the average benefits should kick in for a state bank. So clearly state bank becomes in hold. For Yugo, I think the asset quality did disappoint. So on the GNP is the asset, uh, the ratio came at 8.51. If you look at the net asset ratio, it came at around 5.15 compared to 3.15. The profit was aided by treasury gains. So if you look at the uh, greater uh, perspective uh, for Yugo Bank, I think you're still looking at 10,800 crores worth of exposure towards the discounts. And then again, there's a big question mark on the kind of bailout packages that the governments will offer. So as an alternative, probably that uh, the investor can look at is something like an ICICI bank from the private banking space. Uh, strong CASA ratio at 45%. You've got uh, capital adequacy tier 1 specifically which stands at 12.6. The branch network at 4,050 odd branches will hold it in good stead as far as the non-interest income is concerned. And again, operating leverage benefits will kick in as retail advances grow at a much faster clip compared to the banking industry. If you take aside the value of subsidies that ICICI bank is deriving at around 58 rupees a share, mm -hmm. you're probably looking at the bank uh, getting valued at around 1.6. 1.7 times price to adjusted book which is quite reasonable. So I think you can look at ICSA back on declines for a target of 348 over the next 12 months. Alright, then I think we've got a final query that's coming in. Uh, Lohit calls us from Maharashtra. He has investments in Bank of Baroda. Hi Lohit. Uh, yes sir. Lohit Hi. ji, what's your question? Sir, I have a Bank of Baroda for 1,000 shares in 176. Pe. Okay. So do you have a position for 2 months after 2 months after 2 months? दो महीने के लिए और राइट नरेश शॉर्ट टर्म अगेन नॉट वेरी इजी टू प्रेडिक्ट ही इस गॉट अ थाउजेंड शेयर्स बैंक ऑफ बर्डा शुड ही हैंग ऑन फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू मंथ्स और शुड ही जस्ट कट आउट राइट नाउ लुकिंग एट बैंक ऑफ बर्डा एवरी टाइम द स्टॉक डिप्स टू क्लोजर टू 155 टू 160 इट हैज so we have a good base at 155-160 level. So I would suggest keeping a stop loss at 160 and hold for a target price of 190 to 200 over the next two months. All right. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, on that note, we need to wrap up on your stocks. Nuresh, Mayuresh, thanks very much for joining in to advise our viewers. And here's wishing you a very, very happy Diwali to you and your family and of course to all our viewers as well. Thanks for watching and do stay tuned. Frozen Berg will take the action forward.